Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as today's goal in Spiritfall is to defeat once again the Act 2 bosses. After the last update, somehow I didn't manage to defeat them anymore and it's starting to ease at me. I've been looking for the balance changes, there have been mostly buffs to skills, there have been a few balance changes which I, I guess it does impact the player but not that much. And the only major change to the bosses has been done on the Act 3 boss, which will be a goal for tomorrow or the day after that. But for today, let's just focus on beating Act 2 bosses all over again. And I'll start here with Scorching Attack just to apply some fire damage. And let's also go for the Luminous Gem over here. As getting 40% more basic damage should help a lot with my main goal here. And what I need to do is also find the bear and get a freezing dash. That would also work really well for me. Mm, let's go to the tribute room over here. Yeah, we'll sacrifice some health for the on to, to get something else. Good, we got another luminous gem on the scorching attack, bringing it up to plus 50%. Extra damage and we have a new relic. Slaying enemies with your launcher increases the damage of your attack. Okay, we know this one. It is just a level 1 relic. But that is not important. Should be pretty useful. Nice. I just love those moments. That camera stop or whenever you are doing this launcher attack is really good for this game. Makes it feel powerful. Freezing dash, couldn't ask for more, it's really great. What do I want to do now? Let me take a quick look at the codex over here. Do we have some powers we've not seen before? Combustion and glaciating frost is something that we might need to combine there. Scorching, okay. When you have five stacks of electrified, your electrified attack also inflicts burn. So this we should not focus on because it's not helping us. Getting wings of flame with resolute stance might give us something good. And what did I need for resolute stance? Where is Resolute Stance? Let's see. Am I missing it somewhere here? Yeah, Resolute Stance. Let's see. Maybe I've never picked it. Oh no, it's here. Oh, that was easy. Twister or Impervious Bolt. I feel like if I get Twister, I might even get a chance to upgrade it over here, right? With a wolf or something. Okay, let's go for Sharvora. Okay, so far, so good. Impervious Bolt. Impervious Bolt will help us to, to get what we need. The Resolute Stance. Now the story is not going to help us too much. Let's get another one of these. Adamant Launcher. I do not care for that. Winds of Change. When you are hit, deal damage to nearby enemies in a small radius. That could help. You deal more damage to the amount of... To the enemy with the lowest amount of health. Now let's do this one. I mean doing uh, damage, having this like Thorn's ability to do damage back to the enemy while getting hit, I feel like it, all, it also interrupts their attack. That's what I would imagine at least. Thank you. 
That's good, that's good. We made it through, let's see. What else are we going to take next? Spread fire, when you slay burned enemies they pass their fire, sure. Let me take a quick look over here. For something like combustion, we just need scorching attack. Wings of flame and birds of prey. Okay, they have no requirements. So I pick whatever I want. That is pretty much the idea. Let's go with incandescence here. To do some fire damage while we'll have a high enough multiplier. And then we're gonna get a relic. Your sweet spot hits deal 40% more damage and 15% damage to elite enemies. That's pretty cool. Come on, make it work. Managed to throw a hit there. Maybe we can do it now. Let's see. The icicle rain is really good, but they have increased the cooldown from 4 seconds to 8 seconds. Polar fissures. Let's see. We need it somewhere over here. We need ice shards and glaciating frost. And for ice shards, we will need an. Attack, we already have it. Glaciating Frost, we already have something for that as well. Okay, well, with that in mind, then we don't need to worry too much about things. Gain extra damage after breaking the enemy's shield, or... I am thinking about going with the Icicle Rain. Just because it's good damage. Okay, on this store... We don't have enough for everything here. Let's just buy this power. Freezing launcher wouldn't matter too much, but glaciating frost is part of what we need, so we're gonna go like this. Okay, now we're gonna stay on her. We're just gonna keep doing this combo. Come on. Yep. Stay on her. Nice. But look at the essence. Only four points. So what are we going to do here? Your launcher deals 200% shield damage, that's pretty good. I am thinking about getting this one, shattering the shield and then 20% more damage to elite enemies and 10% more damage to our normal attacks. Not the greatest setup I've ever seen. Can't really sacrifice health over here. I will need so, to get combustion if possible and I'll go for the wolf as well just in case we can get some critical strikes.
Scorching Launcher, Wings of Flame, no, Combustion. This is something that we want and we need, we'll take it. Okay. What other path can I take? I'm feeling like going on this path like this, right? Left, left. Nice, that fire damage adds up to a lot. Okay, let's see. Rending launcher. Wolf Punish, Absolute Magnitude. Now let's see, on this side, we have Icicle Rain, so if we get one of these attacks, we might combine it into something we've never seen before, which might be really good. With Absolute Magnitude here, we do, can't get Howling Bolt because we already have a Bolt, but we can get Constellation as soon as we get an attack, right? Okay, well, let's get the rending launcher and we shall see how this will pay off. Come on, get it, perfect. Let's see, no synergies yet, but we can get Aurora Borealis, which will unlock at least, open us a path towards the next synergies. Anything else around here? Ah, this one. Okay, give me something good. Restoring health when defeating elite enemies. That is pretty good. Plus two air jumps, that's also good. Mm, what do I want now? Do I want the fire? We have this, which might open us to what we want. Now we don't have resolute stance. Let me get extra health. So far the build feels very good. Now if I could get a synergy here, something amazing that I've never seen before, I would make me super happy. Okay, let's see here. Wings of Flame, we'll take this one. We didn't get the synergy, but maybe we will receive it soon. Let's see. So I have 448 gold. That is more than enough for what we need here at the store. At this moment, 
it's either I go for two extra helps or we go for the luminous gem. I think having more health is probably better. Of course, not to discourage the ability to do more damage, but... I really feel like at this point the ability to take more damage is more important for someone like me. Go for the rift. Okay, one is down. I don't think I've ever fought this one before. It's a bit annoying because it has the shield and thus it can't be really interrupted. Okay. Good. Shield has been broken. Means that we can knock it. Nice. So we got everything that was on the same level, plus an extra essence. If we manage to defeat these bosses, we'll have a lot of essence to spend. Let's get this first. Echoing Bolt could be good. Let's do that. Get that extra bounce on the Echoing Bolt. Let's have some coffee before I start here. Okay. So now let's see how we're going to do this. Let's make sure that we're going to be super annoying here. Okay, one is down. Two are down. Let's do this, let's do that. Come on. That's what we want. Good, so my first objective for today has been completed. Defeated the Act 2 bosses finally once again. I mean, I really felt bad for failing so many times. But at least now we have a chance to at least see what... How does it feel to fight the third boss? Because there are two main modifications with which happen. The first one, when he spawns in, you cannot damage it. It's, or when he's spawning that giant skeleton in, in the back. He cannot basically take damage, and on top of that, the skeleton in the back now is a whole lot quicker. We shall see how that feels. When you land all hits in your attack combo, your next launcher of ball deals 150% more damage, that's pretty good. When you slay an enemy, yeah, we'll do this as well. 30% more damage, 20% more damage, and 10% more attack speed, I don't have enough for that. But we have a lot of damage now under our feet. Let's see, what do we want next? Luminous Gem. A better Relic might be important here. But let's go for the extra health. The idea one more time being the fact that... Having more... Having the ability to take more damage is probably better for me. Good, we're going for the wolf again.
Let's see. Give me constellation. Perfect. So Moon Song. While your assist is on cooldown, you deal bonus critical damage. Okay. But we need to do to have a critical chance to do that. So we'll take constellation, gain bonus critical damage for each blessing you have with at least one luminous gem. Hmm. So we're doing bonus critical damage with our normal attack, but we would need more. Where should I be heading to now? Let's see. On the bear itself, getting the ice shards could help. I feel like there's plenty on the bear that I would want. Yeah, there are higher chances that we're gonna get on the bear something that will be useful, so we're gonna go this way. Let's not leave this golem do his thing here. When you slay burned enemies, spread the fire, okay? After you air jump, gain increased cooldown speed until you land or touch a wall. This effect can stack up to three times. Let's go with spread the fire. I just realized I didn't pick the bear in that last pick. And there's no other bear on the map, so we still have to go somehow like this. I am going to go for... Dust or store? Let's go here to the store. I'll get another luminous gem. We'll improve our base attack. Let's pick the... Yeah, we'll buy everything. Safeguard, reduce incoming damage, that is pretty good. So we'll take that. At this point, we're going back to... The wolf. are down we have only two flies here okay let's see diamond dust when you apply a luminous gem to a blessing the blessings rarity will also increase if possible upgraded blessing rarity plus one this is really amazing does it go retro retroactively? I I don't think it does. Because I if that would have been the case, then this would have been of higher rarity. Well, there is a reason, at least now there is a reason to go for the luminous gem instead of anything else. Okay, let's go ahead and get this. that dust I 
I don't really understand that bolt. At times it's missing me entirely and at times it's hitting me and I can't figure it out. Maybe it has a slight drop so basically when I'm really close to them they'll miss but if I am further away they hit me. Enemies are inflicted with burn, stacks of burn for 5 seconds when they spawn in the room. Free stacks. That's really good. So we're gonna go with that. I'm going to go with another luminous gem over here of course. Look, so that missed me right there and then I got hit. So there's definitely something to it. Maybe the first shot always misses you, the second one doesn't. Nope. The first one hits you as well. The luminous gem over here. I could increase the spread fire and it would increase its rarity as well. More damage when we are hit. And we've increased its rarity as well. Yeah, okay. Interesting. An interesting skill overall. However, I guess the only downside that I can see with it is that it takes time to put it all together here. When inflicting a stackable status effect on the enemies, giving more chances to apply an extra stack could help. While enemies are inflicted with status effect, they also receive more damage, 6% more damage. That would still add to 12%, right? Something like that. Because I'm freezing, I'm applying burn to them. At times I'm applying wounds. Sure, let's go with this one. Let's heal. And let's attempt this boss. I am curious to see him in action now. Okay. I have to... Yeah, I have to do a bit of this, actually. Okay, so he, this is the invincible part that I was talking about. Okay, uh, that ball is a bit annoying. I am seeing the skeletons attack a bit better nowadays. Okay. Good. Okay, that's... we've avoided that. Mm -hmm. Jump, let's see. I don't think I can take him now. But this might be the, the best performance I ever had. Okay. We were very close there, very close to defeating it. I feel like I had the best performance I ever had fighting that third boss, even after the balance, the skeleton attacking a bit quicker, we not being able to uh, do damage uh, when he spawns the skeleton. Today, I just wanted to defeat the Act 2 bosses all over again. Tomorrow, the main goal is to defeat the Act 3 boss. I don't know if there's anything else after this in the early access, but that is my goal. We will see what's happening from there on, but hope you have enjoyed it. And until tomorrow, I thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.